Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the real estate entrepreneur, Omar Alfaro. How you doing, buddy? What's up, guys? What's up, Michael? Hey, so video number one was fun. We made some bold calls, a lot of nuttiness going on. Um, nuttiness, for sure. We're heading into a messy real estate world. We're heading into a messy economy. So we've got to talk about being reactive and proactive because some of us have been preparing for winter. Some of us have been partying like it's 1999. So let's talk about proactive, reactive. So right now, if you're not being proactive in this changed market, not changing market, mm -hmm. because you're in it now, it's mm -hmm. not like winter's coming and you can see the clouds coming in and you're getting prepared, you know, and you're getting your coat and your sweatshirts or whatever else you're ready for. No, no, it's here already. It's yeah. fucking snowing. It's raining. It's but if you're not used to it and if you're not understanding where you're at, then obviously you're it's going to hit you in the face. But right now, being proactive versus reactive, obviously, everybody should know what this means. So right now, you currently as a uh, as as an investor, as a first time investor, as a, a somebody else that had just bought their second or third or fourth property, mm -hmm. you know, and you're leveraged or if you're the agent that's out there that's brand new or that's 10 years in, you got to know what you're needing to look at or look for right now. Because when you're reactive, I mean, when you're proactive, you're kind of assuming what's happening. You know, you want to see what everybody else is doing and do the opposite because they're the normal. Yeah. And this is something that we were talking about on the team and, and our, our, on our call yesterday is that, are you really proactive? Are you really doing the things to put you in a different position to um, give your sellers, owners, um, and or your clients, if you're the realtor, are you doing extra to advise them on what's happening yeah. and being ahead of the game? No, not saying you're going to go list the property if you're a realtor, um, super high thinking of six month ago prices. No, you got to look at one month ago. You got to look at one month ago, not three months ago for a comparable. Even as an investor, you're not looking at what sold three months ago. Nope. If you do, you're going to be holding that property for a minute. Yeah. It's, it's the stuff that's in competition right now. Like the active. Active is your true competition. Some of it's fake. But the stuff that's pending, obviously call the agent. And I guarantee you most agents are going to say, yeah, it was full price or a little bit under. It was yeah. full price or a little bit under. It's not over 10, 15,000. So proactive understanding that you are um, getting to a point to where you're going to have to advise this client or seller of where you're at in this business. Cause reactive means the, the shit's already, you know, down and you're, all you're doing is chasing the market now. Yeah. I'm trying to find a, some quotes from David Sachs from the all in podcast I read yesterday. I couldn't find it quickly, but That's basic, okay. but basically what I wanted to pull up is he's like, the world's different. Good news, bad news. Today is different than different. the last two years. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and, and he was talking to a Stanford MBA class, I believe, uh, about raising money and, and IPOs and private companies and, and VCs and all of that stuff. And basically, you have to be default alive. So what does that mean? Would you say default alive? Yeah, default alive. And again, that means something to private companies. Default alive basically means you're cash flow positive. Because, right. Okay. Because if you're, if you're going through month after month after month and you have more cash at the end of the month than you did at the beginning, you're default alive. You're not going to go broke, right? That's what that means. So I'm, I was trying to get the actual quote because I wanted to use it for real estate agents and investors. Yeah. This is not a time to go all in. This is not a time for max leverage. This is not a time to do stupid burr projects. It's not a time to do all these you know, fancy things. The next two years is about being default alive, cash reserves, only great deals. Don't take on monster flips, lipstick only. Uh, we talked earlier in video one. I don't even think it's the time to flip for most people. Default alive means 300 bucks cash flow, put it in inventory, wait for the market to get better. It is about to get super messy. Don't know who a buyer is. Don't know who a seller is. Default alive. Buy great deals that work day one. This is not about, I have a great paying job. I can afford 200 bucks cash flow. No, you can't default to live positive cash flow. Hold for years. No variable rate debt. No 
bridge debt, no short-term loans. And if you can't do it, buy better, buy cheaper. The market is changing right now. Lots of investors, lots of real estate agents, lots of mortgage brokers didn't get ready when winter was coming. And now they will be Starbucks baristas soon enough. Be better, better deals. What do you think? Spot on. I don't uh, spot on about the baristas. I mean, I'm having, I'm enjoying my coffee. <laughs> <Me too>. and, <laughs> um, but no guys, seriously, what you're saying, buying great deals. And if that bottom number is $300 as the investor, $300 in positive cash flow, this reminds me of something, Michael, when I was buying these houses at 40, $50,000, and I'm sure you were too, I was not making six, $700 in positive cash flow. We were making two, three hundred dollars, man. Oh yeah, and 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 yeah. But look I, at the prices, dude I, was, dude. I was borrowing at like twelve percent, ten to twelve percent. Well, me, me too. Yeah, yes. you just had to. Exactly. And right now, think about it. We can get non QM at six. Exactly six, six and a quarter all day long. I mean, the lending market is so great, so awesome. Buy it, better it deals. The, the buy better deals. The, the 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 next two years are not the last two years. I keep telling investors, wholesalers, and flippers, if you haven't fundamentally changed your business you're going to go broke. If you're acting like a wholesaler, and I see it all the time in my market, they're sending me deals that are nowhere close to where it needs to be. Buy oh, better. So you're getting those, you're getting those emails too. And then dude, dude, you're the like, bone. ARV is what? What are yeah. you smoking? Yeah. They sit, dude, they sent me an apartment building uh, in my market. Um, I think it was 12 units. It might've been 14. Uh, it was like 1.8 million. I'm like, dude, I wouldn't pay 900 for that thing. What do you what are you guys thinking? This is beyond retail. I mean, are you like fucking one seventy a door? Yeah, or one sixty for, for a, a C class? And I mean, come on, really? You guys got to be better. So, because again, why is that a problem? That wholesaler, or probably wholesalers, are spending time marketing and and it, signing a contract Ooh. does not get you paid. Signing a listing agreement doesn't get you paid. A lot of you haven't changed your buying and what you're looking for. You're going to go broke. Michael, you just said something. Don't spend your time marketing. Spend your time knowing your market. Yeah. Because, it, it oh, that's it's, huge. Go um, back and watch video one. It changed. It, it, it's 100% changed. And you're right. On uh, yesterday's meeting, I said it's not about the damn signature. It's about the signature on the price that is it, it, that, that you're going to get it sold at that and it or yeah. that it moves. Exactly. And if you're not, this is the other thing. If you are not, if you're the investor, if you're not making an offer to a owner that is going to humiliate them, then you're leaving too much money on the table. I will go one step further. Tell me. I, I will not write an offer at list price for the next two years. I don't care if it just had a price drop. There will not be a single offer I make. No, none. Yeah. And then the last thing, Every deal I do will be better than the deal before. I want you to hear that again. Yeah. I do a deal today at 10% yield. My next one has to be greater than 10. 10 12, Every, 13, 14. And then the next one better than that. And then Because again, yeah. the bottom of the market, you and I don't know where it's coming. No. All I will do is make sure each deal is better than the one last. And by the time we hit it and come back, it'll be all good. You can't, don't wait for the bottom. I, I, you don't know where it is. So I'm going to buy a great deal. And then the next one will be better. And the next one will be better because I look at my market every day and I don't care. Sellers can tell me, no, I'll write a different offer to a different person. It's all good. Mm, that's interesting. That is freaking interesting. I, I'm going to be using that. And if I cannot do better than the last deal, I'm not buying it. Exactly. This is about being default alive. This is not about pumping your chest on Instagram saying I did 36 deals in 2022. And oh, by the way, you broke even. No, I did four deals and I inventoried them all and I will be default alive because I still have plenty of capital. My burn rate's fine. I'm all good. Default alive. And that burn rate is exactly what everybody needs to hear more about. Yep. Yeah, that well, burn rate. Yeah. <laughs> wholesalers, flippers, well, all of you sorry. are just going to go broke. Yeah. It's going to be bad. Omar, where can people find you? Guys, follow me on IG at Omar underscore Alfaro or my website, um, omaralfaro.com. And if you're a real estate agent, especially if you're a new agent, video three is just for you. We're going to talk about a brand new agent, what we would both do today. Thanks, 100%. Buddy. Let's go. Yep.